Hello world, this is Star Jedi Wars here, and welcome back to another video. In the today world, maybe y'all looking like we're gonna be reviewing a Richard Penny card today, but we are not. And it's not even a review video. Um, because of this, we will have two videos today. Um, a complaint video on this, and a review on this. But, this is a complaint video. Lee, in the comment section, tell me who, th who this is. Don't. Don't leave it. I'm telling you, don't. Because I'm going to guess 90% of you are going to say Richard Petty. <clears throat> this is Bobby Hamilton's car. Now, I'm not mad about the fact that this is Bobby Hamilton's car. But the thing was, on eBay, well, Amazon, where I got this from, I was like, yo, I got myself a Richard Petty car for 10 bucks." But I didn't. What I actually got was a resealed um, Daytona 500 Bobby Hamilton winner car. This is a uh, racing champion's car. Um, and the reason, the only reason I'm not mad about this is because it gives me another driver to add to my ever-growing collection of winner circle cars. I can see I already have Kyle Petty and Bobby Hamilton here. But... Uh, I spent all my money on this, and it wasn't even what I wanted. So, I'm not too bad, because this was a car that Bobby Hamilton won his first win in. They are pretty cheap, but they are a rare car, so I am overly joyed to have gotten this. But... I was, that made me uh, kind of mad because then I found another one online for nine bucks and this one was, well, yeah, eight bucks. Eight bucks was the one I found and this one was ten bucks, so I was pretty mad about that. And then, card, 25th anniversary, 1979. That's when Bobby Hamilton won, but the car is a 1996 edition, so I think that would work out perfectly. Um, hold on, uh, actually I'm not going to do that math right now, but anyways, it's a Bobby Hamilton car, you have your regular stuff here, um, but, yeah, and then I was like, okay, that's pretty cool, I got a Bobby Hamilton car, it's pretty mad at first, now I want my money back, not just because, well, like a deal just to get like $5 back, but not only because the fact that they advertised the wrong car, but because they gave me a broken stand. I'm not exaggerating. If you guys can see that moving, um, so they gave me wrong car, they gave me the right car, but... They advertised it for the wrong driver. So, yeah. I got the wrong car. Well, I got the right car. Advertised wrong. Um, it's resealed. Um, bottom's broken. Oh, and I forgot to tell you this, but the printing on it isn't the best. And on the spoiler, if it will focus... There we go. You can see some dent marks from play. And on the bottom, holy cow, there's a lot of stuff. Um, so, they gave me the wrong car. They gave me the right car, advertised wrong. So, I will definitely be getting a Richard Petty car. Because at my local um, salvage store, they do have two, which I will definitely be picking up one. So, I'm pretty mad about this, but I'm satisfied with my purchase now. But if you guys have any ideas for which car I should review next, leave a comment in the comment section down below. And I'll definitely try to review that car if I can find it. Um, and if you guys can, I really want it to try and be on here. Um... I think I'll try to put up a poll right here for who you want, um, but 
Actually, I think what I'll do is I'll just... I don't know how I'm going to do this, but... Just pause the video now. And tell me who you'd like to see next. We have everyone from... I don't know. I'm not going to read that, but... Anyways, guys. I uh, really hope you enjoyed this video. Um, just remember next time, whenever you guys are shopping anywhere... Just remember that you are getting the right car. Look all around and ask for extra pictures so this doesn't happen to you. But something good may happen to you like it happened to me. I was given the wrong car, but it turned out to be amazing. Woo! But anyways, guys, um, I really hope you enjoyed this video. And um, we'll see you guys next time. Peace out, world.